welcome to Illuminate at Home. My name is Tracy. Some of you may have seen me in some other videos that I have done for Illuminate. And if not, welcome to the new people. Um, today I am going to do a bit of dotty fun art, which is very loosely based on Aboriginal style paintings, which often featured a lot of dots. Now, the first piece I'm going to work on is a very tight and quite controlled dotty piece. Now, for this, I have just used a sheet of cardboard that I had in the recycling bin. The paint that I have used is just some tins that I have found under my sink. You may be like me and be guilty of keeping all the dregs of your paints that you've used in your home. These will be useful today if you have. If not, if you've got any paints, anything at all will work for this. And then the dots have been created using this here, um, cotton bud. So if you have these in your bathroom cabinet, these will be fantastic tools today to create the dots. So this one does require a bit of patience and might send you a little bit dotty. I have a second example that's a little bit looser and again has been created on a sheet of recycled card. So for this one, I will show you in the film how to make a very simple template so that you could repeat and make lots of different birds in your piece or whatever animal you choose to do. I have gone for an animal um, as again, I have been slightly inspired by some Aboriginal art and often they would have an animal as their central piece in their artwork with dots um, radiating from that. So the bird is a very simple one to do. The dots are much looser, not so tightly packed together. Uh, and in this one, I will show you also how to use this pencil here with, if you can see, the rubber on the end. So the rubber makes a fantastic dabbing tool too. And for some, you might find the pencil being a little bit larger, a wee bit easier to, to hold on to. So that's an option for this one. So that's the bird piece. And then the third and final piece that I'm going to demonstrate for you today is this one here. So this one again features the dots. This time the dots have been created using scraps of bubble wrap. So again, this is often something that you might have at home. And I'll show you how you can carefully cut out some shapes and paint them up and use them almost as a sort of printing aid to create dots in this way. So as I am here through the medium of film, it means that should you at any time feel that I'm going too fast, you can pause the film and when you come to play play, I will be here again back with you. So please do use that as an option. It's incredibly important that you go at your own pace. The other thing to bear in mind is just to take extra care, especially if you're working at home alone. I do have a little bit of cutting in today's film. Again, it's optional, but should you opt to do that, do take care when using the scissors. And also take care using the surface that you are using at home. I will be putting down some protective paper at certain points when I'm using the paint and I will be wearing my apron throughout, again, just to protect my clothing. So if you have those things, I'd advise that you do the same. So I'm going to pop off and get my apron and prepare my surface and I will see you right back here. Dotty Design 1 You will need A selection of paints that you may have Some blank card, any scrap will do cotton buds, a pencil with a rubber on the end, kitchen towel, something to draw around, a mug or cup would work well. So using my scrap cards that I had in my recycle bin, I am using a mug to draw around to give me a good circle template for my design. You can use whatever you want. I'm using the base of this cup too to create another circle. So just look around your home and find anything that you think would be a good thing to draw around to give you a nice template to work with with your design.
I'm using this scrap of card as a straight edge and just drawing some lines coming away from the circles that I've drawn out to the edge of my card. This again is just so that I have something to follow in my design and you can create whatever pattern and design that you want. So mine is just an idea. So continuing round the card, not being accurate, just making some lines as a guide so that when I come to paint my dots, I have some areas where I can change colour and a pattern to follow. So starting with a cotton bud, the tips of these are really great to paint with and dab paint on. Just gently dab into your paint and dot. So I'm just following the lines of my pencil circle, just the inside of it, and working my way round. Just go a slow and steady pace. This film is slightly speeded up, so it does appear that I'm working really fast, but I'm not. So do take your time. So having filled in my first circle, I'm going to change colour and I've decided I'm going to use the black paint that I had as an outline. So I'm using this black dot and I'm following the pencil line of my first circle, my inside circle, the base of my cup, around the pale pink dots that I just did. So a fresh cotton bud and a new colour. I'm working my way around the bigger circle and again just following the line of the previous dots. Just take your time and enjoy this process. It's quite a therapeutic thing to do. You don't have to be exact. My dots are very close. You can have your dots more spread out. But you'll notice that you get quite a lot of dabs from the one blot of paint. So don't put too much paint on the end of your cotton bud. A little does go a long way. So I'm just continuing round and filling out the larger circle with the pale blue paint that I had. You might notice after a while that your cotton bud gets a little bit furry um, and at which point it's time just for a new one. So again, I'm going to give the large circle a nice black outline just to make things stand out. So I'm just following the line of my pencil where I drew around my cup to give a nice solid black border to my circle. So a new colour another cotton bud and I'm just working filling in one of the areas between the lines that I have drawn. So this is where the lines that you mark become useful for you to colour in segments with different colours of dots. So again just go at your own pace, just enjoy this process. As I say I found it quite a soothing, quite a relaxing thing to do. And just note that this film is a little faster than the pace that I was going at. So please don't try and match this speed. And as I fill that segment up, I'm going to again use my black paint to create a nice border, a nice outline. Working along the pencil line just really helps to make your design stand out. Like so. So I've continued on, I've skipped ahead because it does take some time to do this. So go at your own pace and just enjoy it. And as they just continue on, continue round your pattern, I've gone for a sort of sun and sort of, sort of rays coming from that. So 
sort of stylized design but you can do whatever you like and you can use whatever you like as a template to draw around to give you some interesting shapes to block in with the dots and so my final segment using the pale pink paint that I have in my kitchen walls just carefully dotting it in and as I said you don't have to have as concentrated number of dots in each of your segments as I have here you can go for something that's a lot more spread out you just do your own thing your own style and just enjoy the process So continuing right the way down, I do think that the paints show up nicely on this neutral card, which is just a piece of cardboard from a package. And last ones. And there you have it, my finished design. Dotty design too. You will need a selection of paints again. I've added a few new ones to this palette. Some scraps of cards, anything at all that you have in your recycle bin. Some scissors. Again, some cotton buds, an outlining pen, a pencil with a rubber tip, so for this piece I'm going to make a simple template that would allow you to do a repeat pattern should you have a larger piece of cardboard that you want to fill with a design. I'm doing an animal because quite often in Aboriginal art they would feature an animal in the centre of their piece with dot designs coming away from this centre piece. So here I've sketched out a very simple bird shape. So I'm drawing the body here and I have already drawn out the wing at the top there. So it's a very simple shape. So if you cut these pieces out, it gives you a lovely template to then easily draw around. And that gives you a little bit more scope to think about where you want to place your design, what angle you want your bird to be at, what angle you want the wing to be at. You could flip, flip it over and have a bird facing in the opposite direction should you want to do more than one bird on a piece. So this template is completely optional. You could opt just to draw out something to colour. But I think it gives you a little bit of flexibility in terms of your decision making when you come to make your design on your piece of card. But again, you can opt to do any animal that you wish to do. So now I have my bird's body and wing and I can play around with the angles that I want the bird at. And just simply draw around this template to transfer that shape onto my piece of card that I will be working on. And then again with the wing, playing around with what angle the wing is going to sit. And again drawing around this shape to give me a lovely design to follow on the piece of card that I will be working on. So here I'm marking in the beak. I'm going to mark a few lines along the body again just to give me segments that I can change colour to add interest to my design. I'm going to mark its eye. So it's a very simple stylized bird. So here I'm much looser with the dots I'm making. Again, this film is a little faster. So please do take your time. This was not the speed that I was doing it. 
adding a bit of yellow for the beak. So another great dabbing tool is a pencil with a rubber on the end. So if you find the cotton buds a little bit small and tricky to hold, you might find it easier to grip onto a pencil. So if you've got a pencil with a rubber on the end of it, that's a fantastic dabbing tool too, as you can see here. So I've just opted to use the same colour and very loosely and quickly dotted in that colour into those segments of my bird. I'm now changing colour and wiping the paint from the last colour off of the rubber of my pencil. I'm continuing on. So this time the dots are not as concentrated. There's a lot more space around them. So this is less time consuming. So you might prefer something that's a little bit quicker. So a black dot gives it an eye straight away. It's starting to come together. And now for the background, again, very loose. I'm using the pencil again with the rubber tip. Just randomly dotting the paint around the bird. But it's creating a really satisfying design. So you could leave your piece like this without any bold outline. Or once it's dry, if you would like, you could use a black marker pen just to carefully go around the pencil lines. This would add a little bit more definition to your design, but it's entirely optional. Another thing you could do is to do as I did in the last film and use your black paint, should you have that, or a dark coloured paint and dot round the lines that you have, your pencil lines. This again would achieve a lovely outline and just add a boldness to your design should you want that look. So I'm just carefully going round the pencil lines here, working my way round the body of the bird up to the beak. And around the head. So much less dots, but just as effective in this way of working in design number two. And there you have the finished piece. Dotty design number three. For this you will need a selection of any paints that you may have, some scraps of bubble wrap, any scrap paper and cardboard that you may have, some cotton buds, a pencil with a rubber on the end, any type of sponge, scissors, an outlining pen and any object that you wish to use as a template. So taking my first scrap of bubble wrap, I'm using a glass to create a lovely perfect circle. So using an outlining pen, I'm carefully drawing around the rim of my glass and I'm going to repeat this as I want two circles in my design. But you may wish to draw around any object that you would like. You may want to just freestyle and cut out random shapes and strips to print with, with your bubble wrap. So this is entirely for you to decide. I am opting for the circles because I want to do a similar example to what I did in the first film today where I make a very loose sort of sun and sun ray design. 
So I'm going to use circles and some strips of the bubble wrap. So just getting rid of the scraps. Before getting my second piece of bubble wrap, which I'm going to use to create the long strips for the ray type shapes I'm going to print. So cutting a few the same so that I can use them with different colours. Now I'll trim these down to fit the spaces as I go. Your design will very much evolve and you will end up cutting out shapes to fit. So cutting a long thin piece here that I'm going to use as a sort of outlining piece. I did enjoy the black outline in my previous designs and so I'm going to keep with that theme in this piece too. So I've got a sponge here and as I only have one, I'm trimming it into a few different segments so that I have a piece of sponge for each of the colours of paint that I'm going to use. So you may have more than one sponge and not have to do this or you may wish to tear the sponge. It is quite simple to cut through but do take care when using scissors to do this. The sponge is a really great tool for transferring the paint onto the bubble wrap. Now you'll notice your bubble wrap has a smooth side and a sort of bubbly side. So it's very important that you put the paint on the bubbly side. So make sure you work with the bubbly side up. So a small amount of paint on your sponge and you will see very quickly as you dab that colour on how all of those dots come to life. So carefully and gently cover the surface of your bubble wrap with the paint. And then pop it down, face down onto your card that you're working on and pat it down just to make sure that it's come in contact before peeling it off to reveal your print. So very quickly you've got a series of dots on your page. So my second circle, I'm going to do a different colour, so the red, and again, bubble side up, you will see very quickly all of your red dots come to life when you apply the paint. So just working we around all of the surface before again carefully picking the piece up, placing it face down and gently patting the back before peeling it off to reveal your print. So I'm going to start now with the ray design part of my piece. And again, getting a fresh sponge, some new colour. I'm gently dabbing the surface of my strip of bubble wrap on the bubble side up. before picking it up carefully, placing it face down onto the card and very gently patting it down just to ensure that the surface has come in contact. So all the way around the edges before I gently peel it back. Now don't worry if not all of the bubbles print, that's part of the nature of a hand print and it adds to the quality of it, I think. So working around, I'm using the same colour, so I'm just adding a little bit more paint to the same strip of bubble wrap, passing it down and peeling it back. And I want a slightly different shape. So again, as I said before, you'll trim and cut the bubble wrap to suit and fit your design as it evolves, as I did here, before, again, Gently applying the paint. Placing it down. And peeling it back to reveal your dots. Now sometimes you can get more than one print from one application of paint. So in this case I've managed to squeeze three prints out just about.
And so another fresh piece of bubble wrap, just trimming it again to fit my design as I go. And I'm going to change colour, I think. Fresh sponge again. And working with the pale pink, which is my kitchen wall colour. Just gently applying the paint again to the bubble side of the bubble wrap. Before gently placing it face down onto the cardboard and peeling it back. And again, a second print without applying more paint. That works quite well. Again, a wee bit more paint this time. Just gently adding it to the same strip as I'm using the same colour. And just printing my way around my sun design. So now I'm on to my black outline. So using a thinner strip and my black paint. Just trying to recreate recreate that sort of outline effect that I had in the other designs. Pushing the bubble wrap and working my way around. Just adding a little bit of definition to each of those stripes of colour that I have coming out of my sun. Just working my way around, just making decisions as I go. So it's a very loose and evolving way to work. So you can entirely freestyle this, cut random shapes, overlap shapes. Just have a little bit of fun with how loose you can be with this method. I wanted to do a design that was similar to the first design in the film today, just so that you could compare the difference of the different ways that I've created the dots throughout the video today. So just working my way around, placing it down, peeling it back. And I'm just applying the same paint to the same strip here and working my way around all of the rays. I'm almost there now. So another application of the black paint on the same strip, my final outlines to my strips of colour that I've already printed. And very last prints. And there you have a very different type of dotty piece of art. Now at this stage that could be your piece finished. I have opted to add just an outline to the circle so I'm going back to one of the previous methods. I'm using the pencil with the rubber tip. Carefully working my way around the circle. Just dabbing the dots on. Now you don't have to do this, but you can of course use as many of the different techniques in any given piece as you like. My pieces are just examples. And they're just there to demonstrate the techniques for you to interpret in any way that you would like. So working my way around the red circle. just to finish off and give a final bit of definition to this piece. And there you have another dotty design. 
Hi everybody, thanks for staying tuned and watching the film. I do hope that you've had a little bit of success with that and I've not driven you all entirely dotty. No doubt you'll all be seeing spots in your sleep tonight. So I've really enjoyed um, doing this demonstration for you and I do think the results have been really successful. You'll notice when the paint dries there's a lovely texture to the pieces as well. Um, and I do think that just the scrap cardboard is a really lovely surface to work on because that sort of brown, neutral background really makes any colour that you might have pop. So of course you can draw around whatever shapes and things that you want to make your outlines and completely do your own design, which I hope that you do. I just wanted to show you the bird one again because I did do a second piece in preparation for my film today. And you will have noticed in the film that I used the black marker pen to create the outline on the bird. But you can just continue with the dots and use the cotton bud to continue with that theme should you like to outline your animal in that way. And of course, you can make this entirely your own, which I hope you do. And not forgetting the bubble wrap printing as well, which I think was successful too and has a very different look to it. So you could play around with all the techniques that I've demonstrated today and make your piece completely unique to you, depending on what you have at home and what your tastes are. So thanks again for staying tuned and watching the film. Hopefully I'll be back with another. And in the meantime, please do all stay at home and stay safe. Thank you.